Welcome back, everybody. This is the Me, Myself, and I playthrough of Unconditional Surrender's main event scenario. The game is published by GMT Games, designed by Salvatore Vasta. When we last left off, May of 1941, saw an attempt by the Germans to uh, bust through in the Middle East because of the weather, and it didn't work. The British held. Um, I have gamed out the... Uh, possible invasion of Britain and the way the British have their fleets set up in down here in Western Indian Ocean would allow them to emergency um, if the Germans have played their surprise attack marker Gibraltar is not in fear of being invaded you could use the convoy in West in the in this in the box to move into Gibraltar pick up the uh, Gibraltar infantry it could be dropped in Cardiff the best the Germans could be would be in Southampton and Birmingham or something along those lines. Um, they would have to pull an airplane down from Norway, move their airplane from in France up to like Cherbourg so that they could invade or take down the fleet and the airplane down to zero sorties or available, down to six each. They probably would be close to six themselves. There would be no combats involved. The British could drop an infantry unit in Cardiff. They could probably have the BEF halfway back. The Germans would not be able to get very far before the BEF would be back, and it would just end up being a drain on uh, production points to no, um, no possible gain. It just would destroy any kind of Barbarossa. So I'm going to be going for Barbarossa this turn. Um, I might do an, uh, a separate little video showing you what I'm talking about, but let's go forward with this one. Um, based on the new rules, uh, since it is June, June of 1941, we can't have the same weather we had before in the previous month. So we go to um, the player eight card, look at the, the weather for May, June. There's only two choices in each place. So it can't be poor in the cold, it must be fair. It can't be poor in the mild zone, it must be fair. And it cannot be fair in the warm zone, it must go to poor. Because those are the only choices you have in those in the month of June. So that's the weather. Um, the Axis will not declare war will declare war on the on the Soviet faction at this point. That allows them to do their <coughs> um, invasion of Russia. So they did declare war on the Soviet faction. Uh, the Western and Soviets don't really have any declarations of war at this point. The economy phase. Um, oops. i got to move these up here. The Germans are not. Where's their German marker? They're actually at 28. Um, the British are... 9 minus 3, which is 6, plus 4, which is 10. So they're actually at 20 this turn. And the Russians, of course, are at 30 for this turn. Um, the Germans will give a point to the Finns, and that's all they're going to do. The Italians will be having to fend for themselves because I've got a lot to do in, uh, in Russia. And that's the economy phase for everybody. Strategic warfare phase, I am plus three with the Germans. Uh, nothing for the West. Um, if double check, make sure I don't have, I do not have a German submarines marker. I have nothing in the West to play for strategic warfare. So it's just the die rolls. Germany rolls a three, uh, rolls a six, plus three is a nine. And the British roll, a five. So we go take a quick check. A nine to a five. The British lose one and the Germans get one back. But uh, the Germans are already at one so they can't get one back but the British go to another factory lost. So they're up to seven factories lost. That takes care of strategic warfare. Strategic movement um, I really don't have one for the Italians at this point. Or the Germans, so I'm going to skip that. The West, 
They could pull the ninth back, but I think I kind of want them there just to slow down the German and Italian attacks on the Western Desert Force. So I'm going to leave that alone. Um, and the Soviets do not really have one. So it's that same debate between Kiev and Minsk, Kiev and Minsk, Kiev and Minsk. I'm going to leave it in Kiev. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. There we go. So we're at operations phase of the Axis. The Hungarians, claiming that the Russians have stolen their secret recipe for Hungarian goulash and ran off to Lvov with it, activate and cause the uh, east invade event to occur because they go one on the rail line, then one for the river, and two for the city for a grand total of four so far. So we're down to four. Um, they get that, the Russians will lose two willpower for that. And then I thought about whether I should keep the Hungarians going. The Hungarians don't have a lot of willpower, so the Russians might just go ahead and try and kill that infantry unit. So it's just going to stay there in garrison Lvov for now. So that's the Hungarian move. Next we have to do some German movement. Um, we will activate the first army. one and it will go one two three four and a lot of times I've gone ahead and attacked Riga but I've come to think that that might be a place where the Russians would put their armored unit to make sure that they have a chance at possibly uh, messing with you. I really don't want to take Riga on this turn. This is more of a move to isolate the Ninth Army. <clears throat> so I'm not going to do the attack this time. Um, I've done it in the past. Sometimes it works. Usually it doesn't. And this kind of like slow and steady trying to make sure that I get what I want to get when I get it. So that's the activation of the first. Um, Next, we activate the six. No, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. We activate the eleventh. Sorry, and it goes one, two, three, and four into twenty-three thirty-nine, and then it actually attacks Vilnius instead of attacking Connus, even though this. Uh, you know, this 2238 is isolated and I get an extra plus two there. I'm trying to get a cheap shot on Vilnius here because I'm starting out at plus two. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, that's not right. I'm doing that wrong. Back up. Not activating the 11th. I am going to actually move the first Luft to where the first army is. That takes a sortie. And then I'm within one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the first air. So I'm going to do that instead. So I'm plus one, and they're a straight die roll. We're going to try and get rid of the German aircraft here, or the Soviet aircraft. The Germans are all a six, plus one is a seven. And the Russians are all a three. Uh, a seven to a three is two sorties on the Russians. Oops, one too many. And one sortie on the Germans. That makes the Germans at a straight die roll and the Russians at a minus two. So they'll go after them again. Uh, they rolled a one. The Russians, five minus two is a three. A one to a three is actually two sorties on the Germans. So this is not working out the way I wanted it to. And one sortie on the Russians. So the Russians are at minus three and the Germans are at minus two. Well, we're all in. We have to get that airplane out of our way, so we'll try it again. Germans minus two, Russians minus three. Germans are a two, the Russians are a one, so we each take a sortie. And 
Russian aircraft is holding up rather well. Now it's a minus four and I'm a minus three, so I have to roll a six to have any chance at all. And I did not roll it, so I take a sixth sortie and the Russians still have one left on their airplane. So that's not what I wanted to see. <coughs> so I might have to modify the sequence that I do this in. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll have to do this a little bit differently. We will activate the 17th. That is my second infantry activation. Oh, wrong table. <coughs> so I'm down to 25. And the 17th goes 1, 2, 3, 4 down the rail line and attacks the Russian 8th. Uh, the Germans are at plus 2. The wrong way. And the R Russians are at no pluses. Now they could throw in their, I mean we could do sequence here and try to throw in their armored unit here. Um, I really don't think that it's that it's worth it for the Russians. This is not one of the more critical hexes. There are some other hexes I think are more critical so I don't throw it in here as the Russians. And the Germans um, are just they have two attacks, so the first attack they won't use it and see if they get a retreat. The Germans roll a 4 plus 2 is a 6, and the Russians roll a 2. 6 to a 2 is a Russia retreats, back a hex, and the Germans will take the hex, and then they will attack again at the same odds, and again, the same logic applies here. So the Germans roll a 4 plus 2 is a 6, and the Russians roll a 5, so nothing happens. They just stay there. But that does set up um, the next series of attacks. The tenth now activates. And moves to 3140, which is three movement points. One for the uh, mountain hex side and two for the rough terrain. So that's three. They have uh, five left and then they spend three to attack into Sernat. So that's a total of six. They only have two movement points left. Um, now the odds here, the Germans start off with plus two. And then they get plus two because the unit is isolated. Russians have no pluses. Um, Germans we go into commitment phase again I think there's more critical hexes than this city for the Russians to defend so they will not put in theirs and the Germans at plus four we'll just leave it alone even if they'd thrown in their tank it would be plus four to plus two taking a chance again um, I don't have extra attacks with this one so I'll have to attack with something else at worse odds in which case I probably would throw in my airplane at that point so the attack is plus four to a die roll. Uh, I rolled a four plus four, which is an eight, and the Russians roll a two. So we go check that. Uh, an eight to a two is a DD. That means the Russians have to flip, and then they're eliminated as well because they would have to retreat, and they can't. So the Russians lose a willpower for the unit being destroyed. And then the Germans will take the hex. And that's two more for the Russians. And the Germans still have two movement points left. Um, there's not a whole lot they can really do with those two movement points. Um, So I think I need to leave multiple hexes to attack there. I think I'm just going to stay in Serenati. <coughs> You'll see why in a moment. Next up to activate is the Romanians. 
and they basically are going to just move into 3444, uh, setting up a possible isolation of uh, Kishinev. And then I'm going to do this in the right order. The German third pan, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have to move an airplane forward. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't need to use the airplane forward yet. Do I want to anyway? This is a quandary as to when I move this fourth loop up and try and take out the second air. Um, quick look here. One, two, th uh, one, two, three, where would I be? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to move up the second loop to 2941. And then it's going to actually, that's one sortie. And then it's going to um, attack the first air. Um, first air is at minus five, so best it can get is a one. I'm at uh, plus one net. So my die roll is three plus one is a four. Best the Russians can get is a one, so they take their sixth sortie up there. And I take another sortie down here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and use straight die roll to straight die roll on the second air. See what happens. I rolled a four. The Russians rolled a one. So I took one. And the Russians took two. So the Russians are minus two. And I'm minus one if I want to keep using that airplane. Um, Yeah, I guess so. In for a penny, in for a pound, right? So Germans minus one. It's a one. Russians minus two is a two, so we each take one. I'm going to stop with that airplane. I'm going to move the fourth loop into 3041. as best I can do. Um, that's a sortie. And then they will attack this aircraft. They're at minus three. I'm at plus one. Three plus one is a four. They're at minus three. They end up with a one, so they take two sorties for my one. And then I will attack them again. The best they can get is a one. I'm at a straight die roll. And that's that. So. So I've neutralized the Russian air. It cost me seven, 13 sorties to do 12. So not the best exchanges because I had to add two sorties. That's the difference here. I had to add two sorties to move my airplanes to get within range of him. So I ended up with one sortie more than the Russians actually suffered. So it, that's why I do that with the Russian aircraft. Now we get to go on with our attacks here. Um, the third Panzer will activate. Let's go ahead and finish up in the south here. There's Panzer will activate. And it will go one, two, three, four, down the rail line to 2942. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and then they will attack the eighth army. Six, seven. So they have three movement points left. Uh, their army is at zero. And I am at plus four. There's no air. They could throw in tanks, and I think I'm going to let them throw in tanks if they really want to at this point. Let's see what happens. Um, <clears throat> looking at this, I think as the Russians, I'm not going to bother again. I think there's more important places to use the tanks. Um, so, no, I'm not going to use it here. 
So the Germans plus four. Five plus four is a nine. The Russians roll a two. A nine to a two is a DD. So the unit is flipped and it only has one place it can retreat, which is 3043. Um, the armor has three movement points left. So it's actually going to move one to 2943 and then attack that unit again. So now he's minus two. I'm still plus four. If I throw in the tanks, I'd have a straight die roll to his plus four. This is one of those places where I think I have to throw in. Um, if you get to combat commitment, I look at this from both sides. The Germans are going to be throwing in their aircraft and the Russians are going to be throwing in their tank because that's kind of an important hex as far as isolating the fifth goes. So Russians are going to use one of their tank markers here. So the Russians come back up to a straight die roll and I'm now at a plus six. So we roll, Germany rolls a five plus six is an 11 and the Russians with a straight die roll roll a two. And that's an 11 I said. Yes, an 11 to a 2 is a DE. So, once again, another unit goes in there. That's a willpower off the Russians. And their tanks marker goes back on the turn track. Our next turn, I'll get it back there. Oh, policy evaluation. Won't matter. And the appeasement or pact ends. Um, the U.S. will come in in December when we do this. And this is actually going to end up being the end of scenario will be in July of 1945. I'm just going to do that while I'm here. Um, so I took, I, I eliminated the unit. I end up here. I have no movement points, so there's no point in putting down an end, no enemy zone of control. But he doesn't have any movement points left, so it doesn't matter. I can't use it. So now we will activate the second Panzer for another two. So four for Panzers and. One, two, three infantry. So that counts right. Um, he will move. Uh, it's two no matter how you do it to get to 3242, whether I go through the rail line or go across the river. So that's two. And then it costs me three to attack the fifth. So I have five movement points left. Um, I am normally plus two for German, plus two for armor, and then plus two for isolated unit and then minus one because I'm coming across the river. So I'm plus five to his plus zero. Um, ouch. Things do not look good for the Russians here. Um, we get to combat commitment. The Germans could throw an air if they wanted to make it like a plus seven. Uh, if you look at the combat results table uh, real quick, plus seven would mean the Germans minimum would be an eight, which means only a six would save that army. If I put in my tanks, then a six, four, five, or six would keep me from being retreated. But if you threw in an airplane, if it was anything other than a one, two, three. If he can get to a three, he's guaranteed of retreating me at least. But And, and there's three chances for a DD. Um, <clears throat> like I said, things are not looking good here for the Russians. The question is, is, is the tanks marker 
better used maybe in a battle in the north. So I'm basically going to let the 5th Army die. Here we go. The Germans are at plus 5. Um, they're, they would not have thrown an airplane, even thrown in tanks. I, there's no reason. No reason to waste the sorties for that. I'm at a, too good of an attack, and I can attack a second time if I need to, and then throw in the airplanes. So the first die roll is a 3 plus 5 is an 8. And then the Russians rolled a 2. So even if they'd had a 4, even if they'd added it in, they still would have lost a step. Here it is, they just, they are eliminated, so. And that's another will from the Russians. And then I technically get in, no enemy zone of control marker if I want to go into that space. But seeing as how as I have five movement points left, I really don't want to. Um, I'm going to go... I'm just going to spend a movement point to move to 24, 34, 32, 43. Sorry, I can't read. And then I will attack for three movement points into Kizhnev. I'm at this. I'm at same thing plus five because I would be an isolated unit armor in German is plus six minus one for attacking a city, and that was why I moved the Romanians earlier so I would have this uh, capability of of getting this surrounded type attack. So it's plus five to plus one, and um, he can attack me again. And I'm almost of the opinion here that I really need to try and cut down. If I try to stay. He's going to have other infantry that can attack me, so I don't know that the tanks marker helps me here. I'm going to let it go. The Germans at plus five. Three plus five is an eight. The Russians, a four. Uh, eight to four is a DR, so I lose a step. And then that means that the uh, 15th will activate and move in here. Take my points down. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one is nine. I think I've got my count off. One up in the north, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight from twenty-seven. Yeah, I'm in the right place. Okay. And he will attack at um, only plus three this time. And the Russians are at minus two. Um, and I have used two movement, three, four, five. So I have three movement points left. Not that it matters that much. But, <clears throat> so that's my movement there. We go to combat commitment. Nobody commits. Like I said, I think I have better places to use my Russian stuff. So uh, the Germans roll a 1 plus 3 is a 4. And the Russians roll a 2. If I got rolled a 6 there, I would have I would have actually stood in the hex for, it for a while. Made him attack me again. But not to be. So the Russians are eliminated. And I lose another willpower for that. Down to 89. And then the Germans will take the hex. And that's two more willpower from the Soviets. And their factory count goes down by one because I just took a factory. So. And then I had three movement points left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cross the river to 32.44 for 2 and move another one to 31.45 for 3. Um, two more German units are going to be activated here in the south. First we're going to do the fourth. 1, 2, then 3, 4 to go to 24, 30. 32.44. 
So that's four. And then five, six, seven gets me to 3246. And A ends his movement. Then I have the 18th goes one, two, three, and then three more, so they only have two movement points left. Um, they're attacking Odessa. Uh, again, I'm at plus three. Um, he's at zero. And I can't get my airplanes in. I could throw my tanks marker in here. Um, thinking about it, I'm wondering if I should save it for the north, or let's just try and bust through in Odessa. I'd be at plus five. Um, the only way I can get him at plus five is I need to have at least uh, two would get me to seven, three gets me to eight, four gets me to nine, five is at ten, and a six gets me at eleven. Gives me a lot more chances to get the infamous DD or DE results. I am going to throw in my tanks marker. The Russians are not. So let's go get the German tanks marker and put it into this battle. So I get an extra plus two. So I'm plus five to his straight die roll. A seven. And the Russians roll a five, which I don't think is even a result. Seven to five, I just get a diamond. So that was a waste. But had to try it. It could have been a really neat breakthrough if I'd have gotten away with it. So we don't have to worry about that. That takes care of that combat. I don't have any more movement points to... Let's see, it was one, two, three, four, five, six. So I only had two movement points, so I don't have enough to attack again. So we're pretty much done in the south. Odessa will stay in supply, and I'll have to reduce it next turn, which will slow me down on my advance towards the Nofstrik and all those wonderful places. See the sunny south of Russia. So now I need to go up north a bit. Try and do some damage up here. Um, so now I will activate the 11th. I'm not sure I took down my Point. I think I should be at 16 if I add it right. I'm going to do a quick check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 1 in the north is 10. So I was at 20, I was at 17, then one more to activate the 11th. He goes 1, 2, oh, actually. 2 to 2437, 3 to 2438, and 4 to 2339. Um, we'll go after Conus. Plus four, minus one, so we're plus three. He can throw in his tank. I can throw in it. I can't throw in an airplane. So it's a Russian decision. Connus to them is not the, the important hex. It'll either be Vilnius or maybe one of the swamp hexes, depending on how the breakthroughs go towards Minsk. So we're going to let that go. Um, the Germans spent seven, so they only have one movement point left. They're at plus three. They rolled a grand total of a five, and the Russians rolled a six, so nothing happened there. So that was not productive. So now the Germans will have to activate the first Panzer for two. And it would just move one hex to 2237, and then three movement points to attack Gronis, so they have six left. 
and now they're attacking at plus five to zero. Again, the Russians are just going to let it go. It's uh, not the place to hold. They have better hexes to try and hold, I think. So, um, the German die roll is plus five. One plus five is a six. And the Russians roll a six. So nothing happened. Germans spend three more movement points. So they have three left. And attack again at plus five. A seven. And the Russians, a five. And the last three movement points. Again, plus five is a seven. And the Russians finally roll a two. So we go check the combat results table. A seven to a two is a DD. Took all my armor's movement to eliminate that Russian infantry unit. And get a point there, and then I'll get two for the city. I'm going to go ahead and take those down. And his factory count will go down by one. And the first Panzer goes in there. So that was not what I was expecting to be able to do. I'd hoped to get a little better die rolls there. Um, so we got to play a little bit different games here. Do this a little bit different than I normally would. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can get there. So I have to do. Um, activate my six. Yep, sixteenth. That's one, two, three, four, five, six into twenty-two forty. That was a point. And then the fourth Panzer goes one, two, three, and attacks into Vilnius at plus five. And this is where I throw in my other tanks marker as the Russians. Because this is a place that I really want to make him spend all of his movement points attacking. He uh, spent, moved three and spent three, so he only has four left. If I can get lucky and hold for two turns here, it kind of just botches up his whole attack route. So that's what I'm trying to do, is botch up his attack route. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in the tanks marker here. Ta-da! Tanks marker's in. I'm going to put it actually down here because it's easier to put on the turn track later. So the Russians get plus two out of that. So plus five to plus two. The Germans roll. Two plus five is a seven. And the Russians roll. Three plus two is a five. Seven to five is a diamond result, which is what the Russians wanted. And then their tanks will come back next turn. And then the Germans have to spend three more to try and hit this. Um, plus five to straight die roll. Uh, now I've got a nine. The Russians rolled a four. Nine to a four is a DR. It was not a DD result, which is what I wanted. So they got flipped. So now I have to figure out a way to attack them again. I um, guess I'm going to have to use the 8th Army. Yeah, I think I have to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I have to use the eighth. It's the only one that can reach. Try and take him out. So eighth army goes one, two, three, four to twenty-three thirty-nine and attacks Vilnius at plus three. So minus two. Let's see if we can roll a halfway decent number. No, I rolled a four. And the Russians rolled a six. Minus two is a four. And Vilnius is held. And there's no way that I can get any more units on it to attack it. So 
Vilnius is held at least for a turn. Um, it will be in supply because it's in its own city, so it will be a full strength unit again next turn. So I will have to spend time in July reducing it. The Russians have held in a couple of very good places. Odessa and Vilnius botches up the, the German deployment. Uh, they will activate the 6th. One, two across the river. Three, four, five, six, seven, <coughs> eight puts them in 2040. Um, it's a bit of a risk if the Russians want to try and do a counterattack. Oh, geez, that's really not a good place to be because I can't be on the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can do it that way. That's not good. Okay, um, we're going to back up a bit. We're at 7 to there. If I go 8 into 2040, he could actually come across the river and attack me in such a way that I would not have a retreat route, but I'd be plus 2 for German. And he'd be lucky if he could come up with 2 units to get a plus 1. His tanks are used. <sighs> I'm going to take the chance and stick my nose out there, threatening to, bre to breach the river. Next turn, um, excuse me, the uh, 14th is to activate here. The Germans. And he will go one, two, three, and take Brest, which is. Um, a factory as well. So the Russian factory count is down another one and they lose two willpower for that city. So that was three. Four, five, six, seven, seven. Three, four, five, and six, just to keep the fourth from trying to run into Brest. And then the second army goes one, two, three, four, and then seven to attack the tenth. They're at plus one, they're at zero, wrong way. Um, two, three, four. And I really kind of want to advance a hex here, so I'm going to go ahead and add a sortie for my airplane. The uh, second loop. So that I'm plus three to his, because it's swamp, so I'm minus one. Plus three to his die roll. I rolled a five. He rolled a four. Nothing happened. So that was a waste of production points, probably. Um, anything left I have for the Germans is up here. I need to count my points because I don't think I counted right. I've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I've spent twenty and I started at twenty seven. I've missed a couple of infantry along the way. So I will only be able to replace. Two of my airplanes, not all three, which is kind of disconcerting, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, trying to pull off a big coup. If I could have gotten Vilnius and Odessa, the J Russians would have been in a world of hurt. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate both fins. So that's two points. Um,
I'm having a terrible time. They will declare assaults on Viborg. And then the NOR unit will also declare An assault on Viborg. So we start off as plus two for German. I get plus one for each fin. That puts me up to four. And then I will also go to my faction card and I will use. What did I do? I just put it away. Um, on the German faction card, I have a couple of ground support markers. So I'm going to go ahead and use one. If I can get just one. I'm going to go ahead and use one. Here. So that puts me at plus five. And then I'm minus one because I'm attacking the city. So I'm plus four. He's at zero. He's used up his tank marker, so he can't do anything here. So it's my plus four to his die roll. I'm just trying to get a retreat so that I can uh, push him out. So let's see how we do. A one plus four is a five. To a three, which is a retreat. So he retreats one X. Uh, I will... Take that with the Germans. I'm just going to put these assault markers here for now. Um, take the hex with the Germans. Um, these guys are all activated. Uh, we put the ground support back on the turn track by a die roll. So let's roll a die. Roll to six. I'm not going to see that forever. One, two, three, four, five, six. That will come in when the Americans come in. Not good. Okay. And then the Russians lose national will. They lose two national will for the city and another factory. And then we go down and check in the Italian area. See if there's anything to do down here. The Germans are not going to spend any points. The Italians could attack the ninth at plus one, but they have an airplane and they have tank marker, so it actually end up being like a minus plus three, plus one to a plus three. I think I just I don't win and I might lose a step, which I don't want to give them that. Um, I think I'm just going to say that I'm done for now with the Italians, try and clear up some of my sorties. So I have to go to supply subphase. Um, the Germans, uh, their convoy, will go ahead and take two sorties just to keep both things in supply, the infantry unit and the uh, The airplane in Norway. Do I need to keep the airplane in Norway? I don't need to keep the airplane in Norway in supply for this turn. So he can go to uh, low supply. Not the Swedes. They're not at low supply. They can trace back to Sweden. So. And the Italians. Um, he's at three sorties. So he'd be a minus one, I'd be a minus two. What's the weather in? It's poor down here, so I'd be minus four. He'd be minus three. Odds are I'd probably get through. You'd have to roll a six. for the first supply trace. So I'm going to supply out of Benghazi. I'm going to supply the Tobruk Fort with an escort. And the British go, come right ahead. So I take a sortie on my fleet. I have a sortie on my convoy. And he's in supply. Um, then I'm going to supply the 10th. Um, 
So I'm going to supply the 10th with that same fleet configuration. Oh, that's actually up to 3. So now I'd be minus, he still needs to roll a 6 to stop me, and then the next one, he'd have a 2. He can't stop my supply, so he's not even going to bother. So I'm at a 4 and a 2, and he's in supply. And then um, over here, my first convoy does its thing, goes up to, and supplies the Africa and the 11th. And I'm done with the Axis operations phase. At the end of the oper Axis operations phase, we have to do the East Invaded event where we place a whole bunch of Russians. I'm going to stop the video here, check my time, and probably just go ahead and do the whole East event, um, East Invaded event, placing the Russian armies and putting everything on the tracks and doing all that fun stuff and give you a quick recap when I come back. So I'll see you in a little bit and it may be just an epilogue this turn. Thank you and see you in a bit. Hello everybody, I'm back. Um, I have set up the Russians. I'll give you a quick gander. Um, they dropped some infantry in Bryansk, Kharkov, Dupnovstrik, along with the airplane. Uh, one in Veloluki, one in Minsk. Um, my philosophy as the Russians is survive until January of 43, because then I can no longer be collapsed uh, by rule, and then I just start rolling back. So this is going to be a setup of a lot of defenses. My video is running very long right now, so I'm going to actually end this episode, 18A or whatever we want to call it, um, and then I will pick up the Western response to Barbarossa as well as the Soviet response to Barbarossa and the endgame, uh, end turn um, shenanigans that we have to go through. So um, that's the end of this episode for now. Um, there was one minor retcon. I moved a unit too far, the sixth. Um, I put him back where he belongs, 2140. Um, don't think I counted a river or something, but when I counted again where I thought he started, that's all the farther he can get. So I couldn't make it to 2040 that I could tell. So I put him back a space just because I'm pretty sure I couldn't go that far. So once again, um, thank you for watching the video. Um, if you like it, please let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, makes everybody think the game is worthwhile, which I think it is. And I hope you all enjoy what I'm trying to do here. I will see you next time for the second half of June 1941.